Guys, I'm actually going to go across to the sister island and we're going to keep in the um, realm of sports and we're going to speak about right now about honoring Bertil St. Clair, who is actually a legendary coach in the field of football. And this morning, I'm going to speak with Sean John, who is a PRO, Ian Pollard, and this morning also international footballer, Dwight York. Good morning. Good morning. Pleasant, good morning. Pleasant, good Thanks morning. It's great to speak with you all. So, you know, many times they say that um, the ones who are really leading the way, they, they don't receive enough honors. But, you know, what you all are doing, um, the Signal Hill um, Secondary School and, and the other parties involved are honoring one of their own, the legendary coach, um, Bertil St. Clair. Tell me about his legacy. All right. Um, pleasant good morning to the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, Mr. Bertil St. Clair have been an icon of Trinidad and Tobago. And um, Mr. St. Clair have done so much for the people of Trinidad and Tobago, by extension, the world. And um, he's a man deserving this honor that we are doing because you know sometimes people die and you don't have the opportunity to give them it that when they are alive that they will get this honor so we decide to give him this honor when he's alive i think that's excellent because just as you said many times we wait until people pass away to then honor them and you know posthumously and you know they, they don't receive the accolades that they deserve in life while they're alive so tell me about the um <clears throat> Has he, has he been your coach, actually? Yes, he has been my coach um, in Signal Senior Comprehensive School from 1986 to 1987, where we played in Zakal and been successful in 1987. And I know he's also one of the, the main reasons why Dwight York is the footballer he is today. Of course, he has been an instrumental part of that. Yes, yeah, so tell me about your experience with him, Mr. York. Re re repeat that. Tell me about um, your experience with um, Mr. St. Clair and, you know, um, as, it, as it relates to your career in football. Oh, sorry. Um, for me, I think he's, he's just more than just a, a coach or um, as a, he's more of a father figure to me. He's been my mentor throughout. And I think it's widely recognized around the world that without... Um, Coach Burton Sinclair, I wouldn't be in this position that I am today. So there is a lot of credit from my point of view, and I know that also from a lot of other guys who's been part of his legacy over the years, um, what he's done and contribute to football as a teacher. He's dedicated his, his whole life to, to sports in, uh, um, around the world. So. For me as an, an individual, he, he's fantastic, somebody that I look up to, somebody who, as I said, that I've been very lucky to have from the very beginning to um, give me the inspiration and the, the courage to stay focused and to work hard to achieve my goals. So I'm very grateful to, to, to Coach Burton Sinclair, and uh, he will always be part of you know, what I've achieved over the years. Definitely, definitely, you know, and I could not have put it better myself. You know, you put it together there very beautifully. And, you know, to see that he's being honored for all his accomplishments and all he has influenced in regards to football in Trinidad and Tobago, the region and the world, um, it's really excellent to see him being honored in this way. So the event itself, um, when is it and where will it be? This event will take place um, starting on Friday the 15th. We have the church service at the St. Andrew's Anglican Church in Scarborough. So, and then we, um, at one o'clock, we have the unveiling of the commemorative stone at Signal Hill Senior Comprehensive School. And on the Saturday morning, we'll be having a coaching clinic up at the Signal Hill School grounds. And Saturday night at 7 p.m., which we are asking all Tobagonians to come out. We have tickets on sales at the schools and at the executive members, $200. It will be by invitation and by tickets. So we have the award and gala ceremony. And then on the Sunday afternoon, we have a series of football games with the 1982 Intercol winning team, the 1987 to 89, which Dwight and Sean is part of. We have the coaching school, Sinclair Coaching School. We have the 1991 Youth World Cup squad that he took to Portugal and the 2000 Gold Cup squad. 
You know, this is this is really great. And I, I wanna actually hear from each of you if there's what is the most memorable thing that you have experienced in you know in your interactions with Mr. Sinclair? Well um my first inter um, interaction with Mr. Sinclair, his words and he that would always instill in me and I've always said he always illustrates to us about a ladder and an elevator. And he always says that if we choose the elevator, that's a shortcut in life. And if we use the ladder, we go step by step along the way. What about you, Dwight Yo? What was the yeah, most memorable much thing you said to you? He's always said to me to work hard, um, you know, to achieve your goals and to stay focused, to be determination, to, to show that your willingness, uh, and more importantly, the love for the sport. So these are some of the, the fundamental things that he installed, certainly in me and his principal in the coaching school over the years. And I think that is something that had always remained with me and give me that, that, that foundation to build on. And th those words were very um, encouraging. Uh, and it remains, as I said, as a, a vital tool in my everyday life. And definitely, uh, you know, a, a, a foundation of, of principle that he has instilled in you there. And finally, yeah. gentlemen on the on my left. Mr. Pollard, yeah. Well, as coach always said, once you have discipline, you're going to achieve anything in life. Those were the words that stuck with us as coaching school members, as Signal Hill members. So that was one thing that he instilled in us, and he's still instilling us that we must have discipline. Definitely words of the wise there from Bertil St. Clair and, you know, um, I'm very excited about this um, ceremony that you are conducting to honor him. And um, there will also be the unveiling of the commemorative stone on March 15th. So again, gentlemen, I thank you for um, joining us this morning and sharing all you did about um, this wonderful ceremony, honoring one of our very own who has excelled and achieved so much and contributed so much of his life into the field of football, the Trinidad Tobago and, and, to, the, and to the world. All right, so have a great morning, gentlemen. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you. Thanks.